Hey guys, Ari Lombardosi, Sync Specialist here at number one champion Ford Volvo. Back again to talk a little bit about the Apple CarPlay feature. In another video, we covered the Android Auto feature. This is going to be very similar to that app. The Apple CarPlay is for iPhone users, and it's actually an extension of the Sync 3 that comes equipped in the 17-year model Fords. I am standing next to a 2017 Ford Escape Titanium, so the Sync 3 system comes standard. In other trim levels, it's going to be optional. So just kind of keep that in mind if this is a app and a feature that you feel that you are going to utilize. So with that being said, let's hop on in this bad boy and take a look at the app for ourselves. Alright guys, so now we're sitting in this beautiful new 2017 Ford Escape equipped with the SYNC 3 system here in the center console. That's the 8 inch touch screen that you're going to get with this titanium. Now in a titanium, the SYNC 3 comes standard, but in other trim levels it is actually an option. So just keep in mind that if you want to use the Apple CarPlay or its counterpart, Android Auto, you're going to have to have the SYNC 3 system equipped. The app itself is free, you just have to download the Apple CarPlay from the iTunes Store. So, with that being said, again, this is the general look of the SYNC 3 system. This is something that, you know, most of you are going to be probably familiar with if you have a 16 or a 17 year Ford. So, what we are going to do now to engage in the Apple CarPlay, and I had gone through a few preliminary things beforehand, so just keep in mind that there's just a couple steps that you have to take in order to get to where we're going to be. So, one thing that you need, and this is step one, is just a USB cable. Now, we're going to go ahead and plug into the USB port here in the center console, and then just go ahead and plug into the Apple iPhone here. Now you see that the Apple CarPlay is going to take over the sync system to a very, very familiar look. This is what the iPhone looks like. So now they're trying to make it even easier to use the system by making your sync 3 look like an Apple phone. So with that being said, you can see that we have the app icons here. Of course, phone, music, maps, messages, podcasts, audiobooks. So you have a lot to choose from here. Using the Apple CarPlay, a lot of the stuff is going to be very similar to how the Sync 3 works. So you have your receivers here on the steering wheel, which you can answer or decline the calls. You also have the voice command button, which is going to activate Siri in this aspect because we are connected to the iPhone now. So Siri takes over for the Sync 3 system. So just like you would on the iPhone, if you just go ahead or like you would and hit the button to activate Siri, you could go ahead, hit the face button, cancel. There's nothing to cancel. All right, so it looks like Siri's getting a little sassy with me today, but you could see that it's gonna act the same way as it would on your iPhone with the same look on the screen and everything. So that's pretty cool right there. Um, one of the advantages to having the Apple CarPlay with the Sync 3 system is you actually have access to maps on the screen. People have been asking about this for years and Apple CarPlay has finally delivered as well as the Android Auto. So if we come into the maps here, you could see that now instead of having to stream the directions through the Bluetooth speaker, you can actually have them streaming with the map on the screen. And what's nice about the map is you can actually use the voice command button so Siri will help you get to wherever you need to go without having to mess with anything on the screen over here. Um, so that is super, super huge because the navigation in the Sync 3 system is actually an upcharge, so you're actually saving yourself some money and getting access to a really sweet navigation system on your phone. So that's very, very nice. Now, this is another button that's gonna look very familiar to the iPhone user. In the very bottom left-hand corner here, that's gonna be the home button, and that is going to bring us to the home as the button suggests. And over here, you can see that we have messages, so you can actually use Siri to voice text instead of using the pre-scripted text from the Sync 3 system. So again, that's another huge advantage, so you don't sound like a robot when you're replying to someone. And of course, the calls and the text will come up here on the screen with who is going to call in. It's downloading your contacts every time you get into the vehicle, so if you add or change anything, it recognizes it over here. Now we can come into the music, and it looks like we have a little bit of Aerosmith going on, so you can never go wrong with that. 
we can just go ahead and all of its touch screen it looks very very awesome over here a nice big screen as to what's playing and everything so we can come back here you can see that there's a now playing tab as well as the option to stream pandora so that is also a very nice thing and it's going to look exactly how it would on your phone you also have the option to listen to podcasts as well as audiobooks so if you downloaded anything like that off the iTunes store, that's just going to make your trip even easier and more entertaining for the things that you had previously downloaded. Now, with that being said, you know, maybe you're just a little bit sick of the Apple CarPlay look and you just want to go back to the regular sync. Can I do that? Yes, you definitely can. So what you're going to do is actually just hit the sync tab over here and it brings you back to a very familiar sync three screen. Now one thing that's going to be different is the tabs down below here are going to be taken over by the Apple CarPlay tab. So you still have your audio and your settings like we did before, but now we have a phone, maps, and a CarPlay feature. So if you wanted to, you could just hit the maps and it'll go right to the map for you. Or if we come back one more and you can just hit the Apple CarPlay feature. So now we're back in using the app. So all that stuff is just super easy to use. And what's nice is that if you actually come back to the sync, say you wanna to listen to your Sirius or just the regular radio or CD, what have you, you can very easily come back into the audio and pick from a variety of different options here. So you can be streaming that in the background over here, but you can have the Apple CarPlay going. So you have still the same cool look, but you're getting local stations or your satellite radio. Now, if we come, and back to the sync 3 and you know we're just kind of we just don't want anything to do with the apple carplay what we can do to get rid of it if you simply just unplug your usb over here we're back to square one with the sync 3. so that is the apple carplay in a nutshell if you'd like to see more videos like that, maybe something with the Android Auto, we covered that a couple months ago, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're always trying to upload new and exciting things here at the dealership, whether it be new technology or just what's going on, new vehicles, what have you. Please hit that subscribe button. It would mean a ton to me and to the dealership. And just kind of, uh, yeah, keep checking back. Stop by the dealership so we can kind of go over this stuff in person. Love to go over anything and everything that has to do with the sync system, Apple CarPlay, anything that has to do with technology. Please let me know. And until next time, guys, that's all I have for you today. All right, see ya.